Hey Plum Bobs, it's Katniss, and today I was going to do a current household uh, 2016 spring. It's almost spring. I feel like it's spring because the ground hold up here, the ground hold, the groundhog up here told us that it was spring early. So spring 2016 current household. Now I did have a different current household that I was going to post, but then I didn't because. Um, I just, the camera angles were really long, and that was a, they were really bad, so that was a long time ago, and also that family that I really liked a lot, I'll put a picture here if I remember, um, they just, that world is so glitchy and slow, and I have no clue why, <laughs> so I decided to make a new family, this family is a little bit on the diverse side, I've been playing them for about, I think this is wi week two into gameplay. It shows you down here in Sims. And, oh, I remembered to not show the screens or anything, so bravo for Katniss. Uh, <laughs> everybody, round of applause for Soul Simmer. And also, I think I fixed the microphone because in the last part I was like, holy crap, this sounds terrible. <laughs> like, part four of Generations, I was like, what? So, yeah, that pre-upload went very wrong, but that's okay. Because I'm back now. Trip was great. Really missed my Sims. I've been playing Sims all day and I'm alone now. So I was like, why not do a video? I don't want to leave my household. Let's just do this thing. <laughs> and so we're here. Uh, this is in a custom content world. I can't like afford those worlds in the Sims 3 store because they're like so expensive. And I don't have that kind of Sim points though. So I was like, custom content worlds beauty took me forever to install this one there were so many complications and problems but when i figured it out best ever <laughs> it's great it's going really great so i love this world it's actually meadow glen you can get it online at sim realty Rea realty i i think so it's realty not reality it's like realty yeah uh <laughs> anyway so it's kind of a bit Italian styled I'm gonna say a bit just like modern fashion um, really beautiful world actually but I'm just <laughs> there's a bird okay um but this is the house that I'm living in you actually can hang flowers up here so that's really cool I tested that out um, on the balcony but anyway that's not what I'm talking about so our house is kind of what the heck is that Okay, I don't know what that is, but I'll fix it. Uh, I'll fix it later. So this is our house. Our house, this is the second house my family has moved into. Um, well, they were a couple when they first moved into, like, a little small, small, small villa house. Like, smaller than this. It had, like, one room in the front and stuff. So it was just, like, built for two sims and a cat. And then <laughs> now we have three sims and two cats so it's really great um as you can see we kind of have like a halfway point here with red and blue that's actually really cool <laughs> but anyway um so it's a bit oh my god if that moves one more time i swear it's a bit um villa styled i don't know what that means but i i feel i feel like it's right and so there are lots of flowers it's kind of brown textured that is the grossest tree i've ever seen don't don't look at that there's some um, just like really nice stone styled um i think it has three bedrooms it had two it had three when i moved in and one was on the bottom floor and i hated that so i had to redesign the whole upper level so now it has three bedrooms um the master bedroom is right here as you can see it's bigger and oh there's a horse right there hashtag pets shout out so um yeah, the back has a balcony and a really small backyard, but, you know, we don't really go out there that often, so it's fine with just, like, a little kid's toy and everything. So that's the outside of the house. I really like it. think it's really homey, really roomy, and we're going to go ahead and get into the house. I'm not going to show you the Sims yet, even though you can always already see them. Um, this is a double entry here, just like, you know, in the store where the, you go out, like, one set of automatic doors and then there's another just to keep the heat in or anything. I'm guessing that's what this is. Um, it's just really cool, really nicely styled. And then this is our kitchen. As you can see, you walk right in. It has kind of a stone style, just like the outside of the house. The floor is, I'm not really happy with the floor, but I mean, it's kind of like wood carpeted, so it's it looks cool. I like the style. Um, we got like kids thing over here, some clocks. Always, always, always get your alarms put in guys <laughs> you don't want your sims to be dead in the night you get that al automated alarm system and the fire alarm so burglars and fire takes care of two birds with one stone <laughs> 
wait, yeah, yeah. This is the dining area. Um, it's a little bare, but I think I, I had a chandelier, but I use those like by the bug squares now, so it's fine. And then, um, yeah, it's pretty bare. It's pretty empty, but like nice table, nice everything. And I have no clue why these doors are different colors. It is such a mess, but I just moved in today. I've been playing all day. <laughs> so then this right here is our little desk area. It has a little flat. Oh my god, they're so cute. It has la 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 la. Little flower plant lighting. Yep, that's the word. And then this door leads out into the balcony. It's glass, slidey, yum yum. And then here's the bathroom on the main floor. I didn't edit this much, but it looks okay the way it is. Like just simple matching white brown decorations then this is our cat's room i always like to do a pet room in my sims games so i really like this one um i it, it was orange at first but then i went with the pink theme and so i just i always redesign the wallpaper because like ea no offense but your pre-styles suck <laughs> so i gotta get into that theme section just get a lot of little images on the wall just really cute so we have our cat beds cat litter box like box of toys feather player thing and a little scratcher with the cat on the top of it. I haven't edited a lot in this house yet because like when I first moved in I was broke but now we have a lot of money so I should get on that and <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna make this like a continuing series because I play so much in a day <laughs> like it'll be gone and I'm not making these every day so I don't know I'll just kind of show you for today. This is the living room it came like this really blue just nice white and brown decoration some nice white couches i hate when this come in the wall but anyway um just really simple blue flowers tv why am i just naming everything in the room <laughs> couches floor door window <laughs> so <laughs> and this is upstairs and um this is the main bedroom master bedroom as most of the world calls it um it's kind of red themed we have some flowers from their first date because always i do that i hang up the flowers and things believe it or not your sim has those this is a bookshelf because my si one of my sims is a big nerdy and then so it's just pretty simple it's pretty bare also just like some red decorations really really sassy nothing on the balcony yet i don't really know what to do with that but i'm sure i'll think of something and then Here's the hallway. When I first came, it was like just straight out and this is where it ended. And I was like, no, this is where like the entire upper level ended. And like there was a little bedroom right here. It was just terrible. I needed a bathroom. So I remodeled everything. It still looks terrible. But, you know, I tried my best. Um, this is the hallway. I know what you're thinking. Tons of doors. And I agree, honey. Too many doors. So this is the hallway, upper level. And then you lead into this like kind of sectioned off hallway i don't even know <laughs> and then there's uh, the first bedroom which is super small second bedroom which is super small and then the bathroom which is also pretty small but you know i kind of like it. it's kind of blue kind of empty though because i couldn't put anything over here because of all the doors <laughs> so this bedroom is for um, a second kid i imagine i am not having five kids again you just it's not gonna happen my last in family that was literally like the most stressful experience of my entire life so never again uh <laughs> first world problem and so this is um our son's bedroom as you can see he's in there there's some fish decorations this is adorable i love these like doves it's called put a bird on it i think you can get it in the store for really cheap really really cheap it's really pretty we got a horsey because every in every one of my sims games it's just always a big hit with the rocket horse <laughs> rock a horse make it happen 2016 and then this is the toy chest and a, a little giraffe that I put in the corner just like basic things another like what are these called high chairs yeah <laughs> did it I don't know why this um thing is up here but anyway um so that's it for now um with the house tour just kind of uh undecorated vi villa <laughs> but you know i try my best and so now i'm going to introduce you to the family mm -hmm. this right here oh my god great pose great pose is maya miller um she's <laughs> that's the funny thing i've ever seen about okay this is maya miller if she could just look up that'd be great um she's like i know what you're thinking 
she's the prettiest sim like I've ever made I'm just gonna say that I worked so hard making her just like all the custom content on her face is just gorgeous she was supposed to be like this Latina wild sim who was like the prettiest girl from high school and she's just crazy and then this is her husband Travis Miller hold on let me introduce you to her first her name was her name is Maya Miller and nay and n-e-e -E, you know and it's like before marriage her last name was what was her last name crap oh yeah sierra with two r's um she was just that like fun sim really classic really casual but not casual casual it's not a casual it's like it's just not a word okay it's casual like people say bagel is actually bagel but i, I just said it i don't know i try my best anyway so just um Casual isn't a word, it's casual. Um, so, oh, whoops, just hit the mic. Um, she's kind of like a formal, but like casual pulls it together really nicely kind of sim. She's just like naturally pretty, but with all that makeup. I don't even know what I was trying to get you with what I just said. I don't even know what I just said. But um, she's just that pretty one from high school, really popular. She's adventurous because she was from like. I don't know, some foreign country, uh, flirty, party animal, nurturing, and cat person. So she's just kind of the perfect bunch of human sim, of sim being. And she's just really pretty, really love her. Um, she's just kind of that wild one, and she used to be, like, really wild. She has the lifetime goal of being a cat herder. Um, I don't know <laughs> how that's wild. That was a bad example, but she's just, oh, she's going to age up soon, too. Shoot, I probably should have done this earlier but anyway she's just kind of that pretty sim in high school that all the boys wanted and all the girls wanted <laughs> I guess and so then um she was kind of wild until she moved to Meadow Glen and met her husband Travis who's kind of like the opposite of her oh and by the way she's a Libra she likes Latin music because she's Latin uh fruit parfait and black color black so that's pretty much all about her she's a fitting room guard because she loves fashion she is a spa specialist level two right now she doesn't have many friends actually but yeah that's just it she's kind of like that sim that go-to sim and then this is her uh, if he could like change his outfit that'd be great stop stop s-t-a-h-p stop okay this is travis miller he it <laughs> perfect um he uh, was, like, from a really, like, poor, t I don't want to say poor town, but just, like, a quiet town, and he was kind of, like, the nerd of the group. He's a vegetarian, bookworm, hopeless, romantic, nurturing, and cat person, so they have some things in common. He also wants to be a cat herder. He what does that mean? Oh, he only adopted one of them, I guess. I don't really know, but... So yeah, they um they had to have some things in common. He's a Scorpio. He's aging up in three days, so they're a few days apart. He loves songwriter music, spaghetti with veggie sauce, and the color black as well. So yeah, they're kind of like opposites in some ways, like their personalities. He's kind of that nerdy, quiet one, but he is pretty athletic, so like he's cute now. In high school, he was like that nerdy one, but then they both moved to Meadow Glen and found each other, and opposites attract. So they were like perfect. I was like, okay, Maya's winding down. She's no longer... <laughs> true she's no longer like do you see what i mean like no matter what face she does like she's still like so pretty like i don't understand anyway so they just wind down she's like less wild now he's like less of a nerd he's more athletic they both like kind of even each other out <sighs> but then so they started dating they moved into in with each other i was like oh my god they're the best couple ever so cute i'm gonna play them forever best and then they had a party one day i don't remember whose party it was they had a wedding and then this guy came to their party i don't know how they met they just showed up and then that guy uh travis was actually at work because he is a level three in the science career because he's that kind of nerd and um well he's not a nerd he's just really smart and he loves reading and stuff so science career is perfect for him and he was at work and maya um, just, you know how s random sims come to the door and uh, they don't have any, like, notifications. You're just like, oh, they want to come in. Get it? And then they, you just kick them out because you don't, you don't have time. But, <laughs> so, yeah, um, he came over. I'll show you his name. I feel like this is a video where I'm, like, not going to show his name, like, for his privacy. But he's not a real human being. So, his name is Harlan Andrews. I don't know if you have that in, like, base game worlds, have these sims. I don't know how sims populate towns. Like, are they pre-made or anything? But anyway, so he came to their wedding, shows up the next day. Maya freaking walks out 
and starts flirting with him. I freak out. And I'm just like, I get that she's flirty, but like they had been together for so long and he's he's a hopeless romantic like he he wants that one love and she like is a bit flirty but i mean like not different sims she i didn't even know sims could do that like cheat on another sim and this guy he's i don't know who started flirting first but they had been married for like two days and she just flirts with him oh good lord <laughs> i'm reliving the moment travis comes home freaks out and then he like leaves go to goes to his friend's house I, this sounds like a real story but i made him go to his friend's house to like stay for forever and i was just so mad at maya i was like how could you rip this family apart like you were just married i worked so hard travis is never gonna find another woman so yeah because like all of my other sims games i had to make them like online dating for forever they never found the right sim so now i like made a sim for each other and she just rips it all apart i'm like maya true and then i changed his um biography <laughs> their biography so it used to be like they're opposites now and they're perfect for each other but now it's like <laughs> now it's like the two have an odd relationship together with the occasional opposing flirt from maya but travis understands that his wife's love life is complicated and shouldn't be messed with can travis tame his tiger of a woman or will the flare of both their helmets become too much for this uprising affair yeah so i don't know what that metaphor meant but it was important and then hers is like uh, the two have an odd relationship and both understand Maya's flirty needs. Will this relationship last or will Travis break it off before his jealousy overcome their opposite attraction? Who knows? And so now she's a cheater. Um, cheating reputation. She had two romances. One's active, obvi. I cut it off. He Travis, like, went over to his house, beat him up. I was like, yes, yes. It was bae. It was best. And then, so he's eternally faithful. I feel really bad, but I think he understands, like, Maya's old love lives. Her, his, her old flames from high school came back and like she has to take care of it like he's just lucky to get this so i don't really i can't really sum up that relationship besides like she's wild and he like understands and he just he doesn't mind but you know i don't know one day i don't know if they're gonna last i don't know if things are gonna happen i mean they both wanted kids right after they she cheated on him and i was like freaking out i'm like no this is not a right time but then I found the perfect house and we just moved in like a couple days ago. It is week four. Oh my God. Not week two. I was wrong. <laughs> um, but basically, yeah. So that's their life. I hope I didn't miss anything about their personalities because I always do. But anyway, this is Brad. I, um, when he was born, he was born like one or two days ago. Um, I don't, I didn't really know like who he was going to be, if he was going to be a nerd, like his dad or like a jerk, like his mom i don't want to say a jerk but like just uh an athletic person sim like boy but i decided that he'd be like a casanova like he's a couch potato but he's brave because i couldn't put the flirty trait yet but he just like he flirt he knows what he wants and he just flirts with everyone so he kind of just like mooches his way past people he's just like yeah mom we'll do it eventually and then he just leaves like that kind of kai that kind of kai everybody knows that kind of kai <laughs> um so yeah, he just, he's really smooth, gets what he wants, just like that kind of Casanova. Um, and then he's not athletic though, like my past Sims, hashtag shout out. And then these are my two cat Sims. This is Foxy. I've had her for, oh my God, just stop. I've, she's just like licking her tail right now. I've had her for forever since they were first a couple. I think they adopted her like a day after they moved in and she because they love cats and she's just so cute she looks like a little fox and she is hyper non-destructive neat and proud so we kind of adopted some traits for her and then this is cecil i think it's cecil or C uh, anyway he's adventurous and a hunter we just got him like uh when did we get him like four days ago because um one of our friends from our wedding like called us up and we're like okay um our cat gave birth you need to come over and adopt them and i was like okay you know they They've had the same cat for a while. We have a big pet room. So we got him. Um, I'm excited to see how he turns out. You know, you, you always love, like, the kittens and puppies. But they're so annoying. They can't, like, walk upstairs. They can't go anywhere. When You can't do anything with them. So I'm really excited for him to, like, age up and stuff. And I'm really just excited to see where this family goes, how Brad becomes. If they have another kid, I'm just going to... I'm going by the method of, like, when they want a new kid. Like, when the wish pops up, they can have it. So... 
Um, that's all for t right now. What are they doing right now? Oh my god. See, this is why. This is why I can't break them up. Because, like, I just, I need this in my life. Goals. So, I don't know. Um, comment down below if you have a family like this or would like to see more of this family or have any suggestions for future videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!